Can I get crafts or who this is? Oh, it's good. I got it. I got it, James. Is this shiny otherwise? Okay. So I have to play exclusively Johnny Cash songs. <laughs> Someone for me somewhere 
favorites going on. What are you doing? What's, what you doing? What's the one you pick up at home? to Johnny Cash, just trying to get tapes, trying to get tapes. Please listen to my music. And on some of those tapes, he had songs like Me and Bobby McGee, and songs like uh, um, For the Good Times, and stuff like that. And just to never get noticed. Never get noticed. Johnny Cash, he paid him no attention. And of course, his tapes never got to the Man in Black. So he knew he had a song that Johnny had to record for like two years go by. And finally, he, because he was in the, in the Air Force, talked to one of his old buddies at uh, up in Knoxville and rented a helicopter and landed it in Hendersonville, Tennessee, uh, just off of Old Hickory and landed it in Johnny Cash's yard. And June and him come out like, what the hell's going on? And, uh, helicopters landed in our backyard and Chris Christopherson said, I know this is crazy, but here's a tape of a bunch of songs I wrote. And Johnny Cash said, well, if you're going to go through all that trouble to land in my yard, I may as well listen to it. And on that song, it was around 1969, 1970, and that song was called Sunday Morning Coming Down. Johnny Cash debuted it on season one or season two of the Johnny Cash Show, live from the Ryman Auditorium, and ABC said, you can't say stoned on TV. No, I think it was in the last season, sorry, because the show ended up getting canceled, because Johnny said, okay, I'll sing, I wish you Lord that I was home. Because there's something in a Sunday that makes a body feel alone. Of course, on national TV, said, I'm wishing Lord that I was stoned. <laughs> the pure rebel he was, and that was it. ABC said, On TV for four seasons, we won't renew you for a fifth, I think. So, so what did Johnny, Johnny's music mean to you? Everything. I wrote Johnny Cash a letter when I was a kid. Do you know that? No. So, it was May, I think May 23rd, June Carter passed away, 2003. And so I wrote him a letter of condolences. My grandparents have, had all of his records. And so I wrote it to the Johnny Cash fan club 
Hendersonville, Tennessee, and I knew he lived in Hendersonville, so I thought, well, maybe just maybe he'll get it. So I wrote it, and I also gave a copy to a Canadian singer who was friends of Johnny Cash named Harry Rusk, and Harry was an, a gospel preacher and, and friends with Johnny and June. Never, you know, I forgot that I'd sent it, just put it in the mail, and it was done. And then it's Friday, September the 12th, 2003, I'm recording, I'm releasing my first album and my first cassette called Keeping It Country. On that cassette, I had uh, I had Tennessee Flat Top Box on that cassette, and I also had this one. Too. concert tonight in Glendon, Alberta is sold out. Put in perspective, it's a village of 300 people. We had 500 tickets sold out. <laughs> Sad news is, she said, I heard on the radio Johnny Cash passed away this morning. So I remember crying and crying. I wore all black and did a Johnny Cash medley that night to close off the show. I prepared it with my band. And uh, my dad came home from work that day with a stack of mail from you know, cousins and aunts and uncles who couldn't make it to the show. Like, congratulatory cards, you know, that you're Releasing your first album, good luck, Brett, and stuff. And um, inside was a big yellow envelope, and I opened it, and it had shaky handwriting on the front. And inside was an 8x10 that said, To Brett, Jesus First, Johnny Cash. And I got that on Friday, September the 12th, because that's the day that he died. Wow. So, yeah, so pretty special. So I've always, always loved Johnny Cash. That kind of is everything. That's everything. That's your first big show. Yeah. First release. And he was there. I feel he's always. Even though I never met him, he's always kind of had his hand on my shoulders. He's the kind of guy you do it all, you know? There he is, Ricky. There he is. He's my favorite. He's my hero. Sorry, Johnny, I'm just getting a phone call. Maybe she can <laughs> <laughs> Hit your wife. That's right. No, uh, Ken Green is my friend. He's from Warner Music, and Ken Green used to work in radio. And um, he interviewed Johnny and June when they came here to London um, for one of their shows. I don't know when it was. Probably sometime in the 80s. And... Uh, and he has a cassette of the taped interview. And he started recording it the minute he got to the hotel door. And the first thing, Johnny answered the door and said, How you doing, Ken? Come on in. You want a, you want a Sprite or do you want a Fresca or something? June, get him a Fresca. I just remember that. I like, buy, buy a Fresca. But get him a Fresca, June. So I could simply play Johnny Cash songs all day. So you sat and listened to those recordings, huh? I like know. that. You wanted yeah. to hear him off of the Fresca. For sure. Oh, yeah. Johnny Cash is my favorite. Huh? Everything that's probably ever been on YouTube, I've probably watched. Yeah. Let's hear it for Rob. Brett, thank you. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. 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 Thank